What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be doing a gameplay with this card right here. This card is insanely good. It is the Emerald Isaiah Rider card, lads. So to complete, to get this card, you literally need to complete the challenge. It expires on the 3rd of October at 11.59, so that's literally, it expires today. So like, you, you definitely need this card. All of these guys you need to get. All these like limited warm-up guys have been gods. Like, except for Ingles. Ingles hasn't been great. But like Dennis Smith Jr. has been exceptional. Corey Kispert's been exceptional. And this dude right here is a beast. This is literally like the free LeBron James. And if you guys don't know why I'm calling him the free LeBron James, the guy literally, literally has um all of LeBron James dribble sigs. So, it's the lineup I use for the challenge. This is not going to be what I use for limited. Honestly, if I'm being... Uh, you know what? Giddy's gone. Giddy's gone. As much as I do like Giddy, Giddy's gone. For... Uh, is he a small forward? There we go. Sorry, he's 83 overall. And then centers... Star Josh Smith and... Gonna bring in off the bench at center position. We're gonna bring in him probably. And then we have another Ruby we can use. Ruby Darius Moss for him. Yeah, so this is literally this is the line we're gonna be running in limited right now. But but like looking at this card here, he is insane. He is insane. As he has got a 83 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 86 ball handle. He's got a medi mediocre mid-range shot. Got not bad steal and perimeter defense. Got 84 speed, 82 ball, 84 acceleration, 83 lateral quickness. Is he obviously diamond? Is he diamond LeBron? Obviously not. But he's got gold catch shoot, gold corn special, gold glue hands, gold post riser, gold downhill, gold quick first step, lads. Gold quick first step is huge. Acrobat, anchor breaker, bailout, set shooter, stop and go. He's also got fast twitch, triple chat juke. Hot Zone Hunter and handles for days, lads. His guy is. He's just ridiculous. And especially for a dude that's free. For a dude that's free. And that you can get him in like 30 minutes. It's not like this is much of a grind. It's a four minute quarter game. It is a four minute quarter game. 25 minutes. The thing is, um, he's like LeBron, except he's got actually mediocre dribble moves. Like his release, literally, is LeBron's. And I really like LeBron's release this year. So, like, J.R. Ryder is so nice. Oh, yeah. Like, imagine if LeBron didn't, like, stand still with his, like, signature dribble moves. He's got hot zones outside the three-point line as well. His dunking is insane. Like, oh, that's an insane dunk animation right there. Obviously, it's not a LeBron dunk animation. But still, I don't even know what way I'm going to title this video. I don't know if it's going to be you need to get this free card. Um, Takes only 20 minutes. I, I don't know what I'm going to title it, where I'm going to call him the free LeBron James. Either way, Le literally the exact same jumper as LeBron. LeBron base, LeBron upper. This this release is chicken this year. I don't care what Aim says. I don't care that I'm missing these shots right here. This release is quality. Oh my god, can I just stop shooting lights? There we go. But still, him going to the basket with that 90 dunk. He can shoot the mid-range medi like relatively well. I'm just very, very bad at timing dunks with the meter. I just find it easier to hold square. But like still, you got that goal quick first step. Pull back, burn. He's still going to be going by people, getting to the basket with ease, lads. With ease. This guy is... Is he worth... Is he? Would he be worth that much if he was in the game? I'm not sure. But he's the lim he is a limited god. He's going to be a limited god for the rest of the year. Any week where it's like, okay, you need emeralds. Or you can have like three rubies or one rainbow tier of one player of each tier. Now, this is the best emerald in my team right now. And, like I like, I like Roger Mason. I do. I really like um, Darren Collison. This is the best emerald in my team and it's not even close. And like we we learn from the likes of Kispert and we've learned from Dennis Smith Jr. That actually being great at these lower tiers has a lot of use. Like again, you see, you're going to see a lot of Dennis Smith Juniors this weekend. You saw, I saw so many Kisperts last week. Like, Limited is so big. Uh, he's going to be so big. These guys are going to be so big for this game mode. And, yeah. Um, a card that I'm super, super excited to get. And, lads, get him today. 
Like, this is, like, going to be a Kispert situation again, or a Dennis Smith Jr. situation, when everyone who didn't get Corey Kispert, like, anyone who didn't get Corey Kispert, like, really regretted it, that I know of, because they're like, oh, damn, um, I need a gold player for TT offline. If you need dunks with someone in TT offline, this guy's going to get those dunks for you. And he's got that super, super good speed. If you're on current gen, he got that goal quick first step, so he's going to burn by the AI. I, this card here is going to give you a lot of what... Depends on what how you play. Like, if you're not... Like, if you don't use Vince Carter for anything other than catching, spotting up, and going to the basket and dunking, he's going to give you a lot of what Vince Carter gives you. Is he as good as Vince? Obviously not. Like, I'm not trying to make that argument. But, like, if you are somebody that the only thing you really do with Vince Carter is shoot when he's wide open and attack the basket with him and dunk, whether it be on a break or... I'm just kind of struggling now. There we go. Whether it be on a break or just trying to dunk on people, Isaiah Ryan's going to give you those two things. And in 2K, being fast, being a good shooter and a good dunker, those cards are always good in 2K. And especially in this game where clamps is not everything, these cards are always good. So anyway, now we're just going to go in green 1-3. Now we're going to get on to a game. All right, so... Is this card here better than, like, Jamal Murray? No, sorry, not Jamal Murray. Um, Gary Harris? I don't think so. Is this card better than... Like, looking at my actual team right now. Does this guy make my team? Probably not, just because of contract reasons. Is he better than Kispert? He's different. Probably is better overall. But Kispert serves a purpose. Is he better than Gary Harris? No. Is he better than uh, Daryl Griffith? I'm not quite sure. I don't think he's better than Daryl Griffith, but... Like, he's not too far off. Like, again, Griffith's not even in my squad. Man, I got five diamonds sitting here at the end. Is he better than Richie Guerin? Probably not, but it's not, that, it's not like, that much of a difference. Better than Lou Dort? Maybe, maybe not. Is he better than Terrence Ross? I think he he's, like, very similar to Terrence Ross level. And again, I know these guys are cheap. I get it. These guys are cheap. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if a card's cheap or not. It really doesn't. Let me just throw him in here at... Uh, in there. Hey, lovely stuff, lovely stuff. We're facing off against free agents here. Give me that. It's a decent shot right there. And it's a good make by JR Ryder. Let's go. Okay, so we've got a 99 three point free agent Steph Curry here. But we do have him clamped. We're going to have him clamped here with Josh Smith. Okay, come on, let's stay. Let's stay. Good switch. Terrible shot. I'm. Like. There's nothing I can do there. That's just 2K screwing me. That's just 2K screwing me right there. There's nothing I can do. That's a terrible shot. And of course, he hits a late 9% contest. Oh, this game is so garbage. I think I'm genuinely going to go to current gen. Current gen's way better than this. Current gen is legitimately the better game this year, and I don't, I don't care. Um... I don't care what anyone says, current gen is a better game. And like, I'm... I was all on the next... I thought current gen was awful last year. Current gen is most definitely the better game this year. Green. Good shot. Come on. Come on, Ryder. And also, this court's horrible to look at. I think I might be retiring from next. I think I might genuinely be retiring from next gen. Like, there's just so much BS that happens on this gen compared to current gen. Okay, let's attack. Let's attack. Okay, Kobe's there. It's free agent Kobe. Okay, pull back. Use your goal quick first step. I'm burn him. Take the dunk. Let's go, Ryder. This guy is crazy good. This guy is crazy, crazy good. Come on. We're good. We're good. Go and steal that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Give me that board. Let's go. Dot corner. Dot corner. Dot corner. Green. Come on. Come on. Hit the white. Big shot. Let's go, JR Ryder. Let's go 13 to 3 lead right here. And their one shot they've hit was been a stupid shot with Steph Curry. You shouldn't have went in. Okay, this guy's kind of a beginner. Steal. Steal. Jump. How? How? Like, those layups never went in at the start of the game. I don't care how. However, I get it. 2K every single time they want to make they want to make a gameplay change. They have to specifically say no gameplay changes. The game is not the same as it was at launch, and I don't care what anyone says. This Mitchell card has been in the game since launch. The game is like, oh no, it was just the cards are getting better. No, this Mitchell card has been in the game since launch. These guys were are smacking 50% contests consistently now. Like 50 40-50% consistently. And every time you block the ball now, it goes right into your opponent's hands. 
or out of bounds. At least he's got a shot clock violation. Unless unless he hits a flick up with Staff, but Staff has the ball. We've, it's shot clock violation. We're good. There we go. Good defense there. But yeah, there's just been... They've done something. It's not... This game is 100 times better than 21. It's just I genuinely think... Good pass. I genuinely think 2K21 current gen is... 2K22 current gen is one of the best games we've seen in a long time. Okay, let's go. Let's recover. It's me. It's fine. Thought he was going to throw. He didn't. He's going to go to Steph, surely. Surely he's going to Steph. That's me. That's a steal right there by Josh Smith. JR Ryder. Oh, pullback. Oh, green that, green that, green that, green that, green that. But he hit the white. Let's go. Big shot right there. JR Ryder now 16 points and an assist. And we have an 18 to 5 lead. Jump. Good. And of course, you block a shot, it either goes out of bounds or it goes back to the other player. It is all, like, it is probably a 5, or not, nah, that's probably too low. It's probably a 20% chance that you get the ball back if you block a shot. Big board. Let's go. Let's hit him. Let's hit him. Oh, pull back. Green. Come on. End it on a green. End it on a green right there, JR Ryder. Is this dude st really stalling? Okay. Okay. He's not stalling. Thank God. Thank God he's not stalling right there. But a 24. One to five lead right there. Not bad at all. So anyway, that is the video. This guy is insanely good. Like, go get him. Please go and get him. Like, you only have... You, like... How many hours? 17 hours or something? Let's just say 15 hours. Like, he's about to expire. You need to get this card. And maybe you might be saying, Oh, I'm not going to use this card. You'll need him for limited. And... Who knows? Emerald versus Invincibles might be a thing. We all, we knew about Golds versus Invincibles. Maybe Emerald versus Invincibles is a thing. So, lads, I'm telling you, there is always a situation. And there are always scenarios where using um, really, really good low-rated cards is highly beneficial. And this could be one of them. Whether it be like, there's going to be weekends for limited where overalls matter. There's going to be a whole bunch of things. Uh, but... I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is a, this is a must get card. This is a must, must have card. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.